let's say you have an 8 volt battery So let's say you have this circuit, okay? So calculate for me the total capacitance of the circuit, the total capacitance. Calculate for me the charge across each capacitor. So I want to know what's C tot. Find Q across the three microfarad capacitor, Q across the four microfarad capacitor, Q across the five. Q across the 6, find for me the voltage across each one, find for me the energy stored in each one, and show that the sum of their energies equals to the total energy of the battery. And if you're right, that's what should happen. The total energy stored in each one, when you add them, should equal to the energy of the battery. Because remember we said energies just add up. Okay, so when you have circuits like this, you have to kind of, sometimes you get a diagonal looking one, which kind of is scary, but you have to kind of analyze, see, just because it's diagonal doesn't mean it's harder. It just looks a little harder, you know. So what's happening here? The current is coming. And then breaking up uh, over here, there's an I1. Then breaks up into here. And when it comes to here, there's I2. I2 breaks up into uh, I3 and I4. So this, a different amount of current goes through here. A different amount of current goes through the 6. And a different goes through the 4. So they each have a different current going through them. But they're all in parallel. If I take my voltmeter, put it across here, I should get the same voltage, same voltage, same voltage. Because uh, uh, from here to here, then I just go back to the negative of the battery. From here to here, negative of the battery, so on. Even if I had another capacitor here, it wouldn't matter. They would still all be parallel. So just because it was diagonal doesn't mean it's necessarily harder, OK? Uh, so you can just, they're all in parallel here. So you can simply just add them. So we'll call this C, uh, C prime will be 4 plus 5 plus 6. Right, they're all in parallel. So that's uh, 15 microfarads. So the circuit now looks like this. Usually with these problems, it's good to draw the circuit step by step as you break it down. So uh, it's good to go like this and then draw so I broke the circuit down into its equivalent circuit 3 microfarad and C prime is the the sum of those three so that's a 15 microfarads. Now this is in series right? Just because this one is not up there doesn't mean it's not a series. They're in series. Right? So you simply uh, go one over the reciprocal. So 5 over 15 plus 1, that's 6 over 15, which is uh, 2 and a half microfarads. So my total, total capacitance of the circuit is 2 and a half. Now I can write the circuit as uh, 
the equivalent, I have the 8 volt battery and so I've determined that this circuit is equivalent to a circuit that has an 8 volt battery connected with just one capacitor that is 2.5 microfarads. Okay? So now I start back the process. I'm going to start going backwards now. What would be the charge that would build up on that capacitor? Right? So you say Q tote is equal to uh, CV, right? So the voltage times the capacitance gives you um, 20, 20 micro coulombs. So the charge of this, I will write it underneath the capacitor, 20 micro coulombs is the charge across that uh, capacitor. Then I'm going to start going back. If this is 20 micro coulombs, since this one is the combination of these two, each of them will also have uh, 20 micro coulombs because they're in series. Now, some of people here would be tempted to say like this. Since that's 20 micro coulombs, this is 10 and 10. 10 and 10 makes 20. No. Okay, that's where people go wrong. In series, the current and charge is the same. They don't add up. Okay, so the charge here, charge there is the same, which is the same as the charge there. Okay, now that you determine the charge of each of these, determine the voltage uh, across each one. The voltage here would be uh, C divided by Q, right? Uh, no. Uh, C is Q over V. Yeah, Q over C. Since the definition of C is Q over V, V is Q over C. So you get 20 micro coulombs divided by 3 micro farads. The micro and the micro cancel. You get 6.67 volts. So this one is going to have 6.67 volts. Now this is an 8 volt battery, right? So, how do I find the voltage across this? Well, I could simply do 20 over 15. Okay. Or, I could say, subtract 6.67 from 8. Because the voltages in series add up to give you the voltage of the battery. So, if you do 20 divided by 15, you, what you get? Uh, 4 over 3, which is 1.33. Right? Which added to this gives you 8 uh, volts. So perfect. You see? So now you know the voltage across each. Then you say, okay, this one is the sum of these three. They're all in parallel. So they also have each one 1.33 volts. So that's it. I've answered this question now. I now know the voltage across each capacitor. The voltage across the 4 is 1.33. The voltage across the 5, 1.33. Voltage across the 6, 1.33. Voltage across the 3 is 6.67. Okay? And then to find the charge across each, well, I already know the charge of this one is 20 microcoulombs. And then the charge of each of these will be C times V, right? So the charge of the 4 microfarad capacitor, 4 times 1.33. Okay, and then the charge of the 5 will be 1.33 times 5. 